Hello, back for the photosynthesis lab. So make sure you uh, have your photosynthesis lab manual. It should be on page 57. We're going to work through to, oh, initially we're going to work through to page 61. And then a separate experiment will be from six, the end of 61 through page 64. So there should already have be, you should have already watched an introduction to this lab that explains how this lab is only looking at uh, the light reactions of photosynthesis. So just how sunlight actually works to start the process of building sugars in plants. And what we're testing in the lab is to figure out what colors of the visible spectrum are most used by the plants to make those sugars, okay? So I'm gonna show you the actual setup here. And one thing you wanna be thinking about while I'm showing you this setup is this, there's a question at the bottom of page 57. It says, what will the light dependent reactions occur under the following conditions? And the conditions are these different colors of light. So you turn the page to 58, it says, will those reactions happen in white light? Will they happen in dark, in the green light, blue light, or red light? So I'm gonna show you what the different light testing things are so that makes a little more sense. I'm gonna tilt the camera down so you can see. Here we go. Camera, camera. Okay. So maybe you can see this over here. There's a little, this is a light. Where am I turned on so you can see this? See the light? The light is now shining on a piece of paper. And on the piece of paper are these little cups, little plastic cups. There's a green cup, a blue cup, a red cup, a silver colored cup. This is supposed to be dark. And then this clear cup is the white cup. So what's gonna happen is these are our simulated light conditions that occur when we shine this light from here down on them. I realize maybe, maybe it's a little hard to see that from the angle you're at, but right now the light's on. Now I'm gonna turn it off. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put a mixture of this stuff called DPIP. We're gonna put them into these little square tubes. These are called cuvettes. They talk about the cuvettes on page, let's see, 59, right? Where it says step number one, obtain transfer pipette, six cuvettes with lids and five various jars. So those are our five various jars. These are our cuvettes with lids. And it says you're also going to, if you go to step two, on page 59, prepare the computer for data collection. So this is pretty similar to what you did in the enzyme lab, right? We have a computer here. It's our data logger. It's got, right now, you can't see it, but it's got a graph. It's got like a table for collection of data that we'll put in, and it'll graph that data out over here. So we have a way to keep track of all the data we're gonna collect and the data is going to be collected through this thing. This is, it's called a colorimeter. It's really a, a little device called a spectrophotometer. It has a little door that opens and closes. Can't close it now. But you'll see when I open it, open it again. See there's a little hole in it in the back, right? See the little hole? So what happens is these cuvettes actually fit into that little hole and the cuvettes will be filled with a mixture of the DPIP liquid and some chloroplasts that are in here. These are chloroplasts that I extracted from this. This is a, it's not spinach, it's Swiss chard, but it has chloroplasts too, right? So we're going to make a mixture of that DPIP 
plus the chloroplast. And over time, we're going to see if the DPIP solution, if this stuff, changes color. It's going to start out a blue color, and we're going to look to see will it change from blue to clear? Will it stay blue? What will happen? And the easiest way to do that is with the colorimeter. Colorimeter, it's hard to see from where you are, but there's a shoots a little beam of light through that little hole that bounces back again, which this machine can interpret how much light passes through the solution, how much doesn't, and it'll send all that information to the computer as a number. Uh, I don't know if you can see that at the bottom here where it says transmittance. That'll tell us how much light is actually passing through that little green cuvette. It won't be green the whole time, but how much goes through, how much doesn't. The more photosynthesis that happens, this is kind of the rule, more photosynthesis equals uh, greater transmittance. Less photosynthesis means less transmittance. So you can kind of think of it as more photosynthesis uh, more light can pass through, less photosynthesis is less light. So, these are all the basic ingredients for running the lab. Next up, I'll show you guys how to set up the tubes and make a blank for the machine. I'm going to start here with this calibration step. We're going to go to step number four on page 59. You are now ready to calibrate the colorimeter. Prepare a blank by filling a cuvette three quarters full with distilled water and add two drops of chloroplast. So this is my blank cuvette. It has a little zero on it. Sorry, I keep looking over there to make sure this looks normal. And I rem just remembered one thing I need to have, which is these little special wipey papers, which I don't have. So I'm going to see if I can find them for the next video. But in the meantime, I have some distilled water. I'm going to tilt the camera down. And it says fill this three quarters full. So if this is the, let me see that. This is about halfway. I'm going to try to fill it up about that much. That might be a little too much. Luckily, I have these little pipettes. Take a little bit out. Again, this is just distilled water. Filled it up, three quarters of the way full. And then I'm going to put in, it says, a couple drops of chloroplast. So this is my chloroplast mixture. I'm going to put in one, two drops of chloroplast. Put those back on ice. Put the lid on. It says to invert the cuvette to mix. This is again still on step uh, four. I'm going to make sure the sides of my cuvette, so the cuvette has two sides, four sides really. Uh, two of the sides have ridges on them. You can't see through them easily. And the other two sides you can see through easily. They're clear. So you have to orient the cuvette when you put it into the colorimeter. You have to make sure that the clear sides face where there's a tiny little triangle on this door because that's the, the clear sides are what the light's going to shine through. I got to keep this flat though. I'm going to drop this in. Did you? And then I'm going to close the door. And then I'm going to switch over to my other camera here. So once I have the blank in my colorimeter, you're going to follow the. This, so I'm on step five now on page 59. Put the cuvette in the colorimeter. I did that. I put it so the sides are the right way. It says check that the wavelength is set to three. 635 on this box here. I don't know how well you can see that, but this, where the green light is, it actually says 635. And then it says, 
you're going to push the cow button on that black box, which I did. And you'll see that this transmittance value goes to about 100. And that's what you want, 100% transmittance, OK? So we just blanked. That was called blanking our colorimeter.